Falcon Stadium, built into Rampart Range, is one of the most picturesque scenes in all of college football and the site for our matchup. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Pitches back. And they make the stop right around the 38 yard line. It's a nice job by the quarterback to pitch the ball. And it got him a first down. From their own 38 yard line. First down. Here we go. Brought down around the 39 yard line. Gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. Third down. From their own 37-yard line, it's third down. Swings it out left to the halfback. They'll bring him down at about the 49. Tackles him hard at the 50-yard line. The option is all about timing, and on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. From midfield, second down. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. Ball start, start offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, Still it's bound to end. happen occasionally. <laughs> Tackle around the 45-yard line. And the fullback plows ahead for maybe a yard. That makes it third and 15. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. around the 31-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, no score here. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. They lose four there. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. From their own 27-yard line, it's third down. Steps up in the pocket. He's going to air it long. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. They looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. This is a great punt-blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. 
He's taken down at the 45. Well, who says college football is all about offense these days? No doubt about it. This first half has been dreadful for both of these offenses. We've seen some great defense, but I think the offenses need to make some adjustments and play a lot better. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Throws to the tailback, incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 45. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Caught with room to work. He steps out at the 36-yard line. Scrambling. The quarterback scramble gains three yards. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here comes the pressure, and he's tackled at the 31-yard line, and the defense comes through. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. is out to the tailback on the screen. And they push him out right around the 30. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's knocked out of bounds. It's right around the 36-yard line. That'll make it 35. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. That play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. The Falcons had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. He unloads it. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. He's taken down at the 40-yard line. Some surprisingly good ball-carrying skills by the big fullback. If he can do more of that, this offense will become even more potent. 
scrambling around. Diving for extra yardage. He scrambled, runs with it, and he's got room. And down he goes at the 35. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. We've played a half. Now, this one's scoreless. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This game's been everything we anticipated it being. Each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Rad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. We've got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We're yeah. we loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Heading into the third quarter now. Tie ball game. We're set to resume play. Fielded at the four. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You gotta make every possession count. Fumble! And no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. The ball just kept scooting all over the place on the sideline, and it finally skipped out of bounds before anybody could claim it. Second and ten. Ball on their own 30. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. That's good for a game of 15 yards. First down. Like six. Like six. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, Taken down at the 37 yard line. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. He's tackled at the 30 yard line. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. That makes it first and ten. Looking for his man, incomplete. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions, and especially 
when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And they make the stop right around the 12-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Number three on the tackle at the four yard line. That makes it first and goal. Fires quickly. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 71-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. So our score, 7-0. Tackle at the 23. The Cougars continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Tries to get around the corner. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. He's gobbled up in the backfield. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. So at the end of the third quarter, the Cougars in front, 7-0. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Zips it to the back. We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Let's go! Now he tries to buy some time. That's a great tackle at the 23-yard line. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. Well, they had a lot of success on their last possession, and now they're going to start this one off with excellent field position. It's hard to ask your defense to come out and make a stop when they're already backed up this far within their own end zone. Nice run there. A gain of about four yards on the draw. From the 19-yard line, it's second down. On the ground with the tailback. He fights forward to about the 16. The Falcons are going to call their second timeout. The 10. He gets to about the five. Awesome running here on third down. That can bring a lot of confidence to an offense when they can pull that off so successfully. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. They'll spread the field with five wide. Touchdown, Washington State. And he hits the PAT. So a four-play, 23-yard drive, and the result, seven points. So the score now, 14-0. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
The defense forced a turnover on downs on the last drive. Well, this offense is going to have to do a better job on this drive. Remember the last time, they went for it on fourth down and came up short. Now they get the football back. Let's see how they can do. Throws completely stopped immediately. The spike will stop the clock. From their own 29-yard line. Third down. Just over a minute left. Throws complete. He's got space to work. They'll bring him down at the 41-yard line. to him again. Tackle at about the 49. Spikes the ball. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. play of the series. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. score game and they can cut that down here if they can get this one in the end zone. Let's go. Let's go. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. This is the 10th play of this drive. Ready, check, check. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Still eight yards away. Now it's third and goal. Fires that quickly, incomplete. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Down right around the 18 yard line. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game 14 0 Cougars. And the Air Force Falcons. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.